Aries, got messages for you. This could be a weekend read. All right. Um, six of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Swords, the Tower. Damn, Aries, what's up? Judgment. I feel like there's a lot of people talking about you, Aries. Like, it's a lot of people got a lot of... They got your name in their mouths here, possibly because you stand off. If somebody's going through some type of burdens or they got a lot of... They got... I don't know. Somebody took somebody from granted. That's what it seems like. And now they're moving on. So, Aries, let's hop into this read. Okay. Aries on placements. Let's see. Let's get the messages here. Aries. I see an apology coming towards you. If someone wants something wants to tell you something here. All right. New love, success, abundance in all areas. I feel like Aries, your good karma could be coming from you for you. You have good karma coming in. I know it's like kind of like cliche, like, okay, well, when is my good karma gonna come? It's coming. All right. I'll be saying the same thing. Shit. One, one, one. Thank you. Yeah. That's just confirmation that it's coming. Like just from you moving on from this person that was like just passionate about you, Aries, like it's coming. But I feel like the universe has to have like things have to be like completely cleared out first in order for you to get these blessings because they're not going to be shared with anybody. Okay. Th these blessings you can't share them with anybody all right so it's like the universe has to clear out all areas like from people that's a player people that betrayed you they deceived you here yeah seven of wands they're protecting you from all of this okay so that you can get your fulfillment it's like the archangel michael is blocking out everybody that's coming to you here with ill intentions purposely coming to you here in the knight of wands and the moon type of energy deceiving so it's like yeah archangel michael is fighting on your behalf here with the seven of wands so that way you can get what you want nine of cups wish fulfillment here but you have to be in solitude in order to get this here. Two, 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 Aries, as I'm saying that. So let's get some messages. Okay, Ace of Cups. New love here. This is new love. New everything, like new beginning in love. This may even result in a pregnancy, Aries. Okay, this is new romance. You're moving on. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, the hangman from discontentment. I feel like Aries, some of you guys, like... You need to like, maybe you could be like detaching yourself here or you just discontent. Like, I'm feeling like a very like um, a restless type of energy. Like you want to do something, but you just can't put your finger on. Okay, like you just really want to get up and go and do something. I feel like you guys are tired of being in hermit mode. Like you want to get out and go. Like you want to do something impulsive. Okay. I feel like you want to do something impulsive here, okay? So, let's see. Give me the Eight of Cups. King, uh, Queen of Wands here, Aries. Listen, look at you looking all fired up. 333 three, three could be significant. You could be seeing that very vibrant type of energy. You guys are looking good, okay? For my females or my males here, I feel like somebody could have did like some type of spells here to cause you some type of confusion or you're just getting getting a reality check on these motherfuckers they try to mess with your opportunities here they could have tried to cause chaos in your home life friends causing you to turn on your friends cause you to lose your job or whatever that or that sort that was confirmation right there but i see that you're very competitive aries like you don't go down without a fight like you you that one like don't don't do that <laughs> Cause I'm gonna really beat your ass like in the spiritual realm I'm gonna fuck you up okay you're very confident you have a foresight here you know what it is that you want so you're gonna go and get it that's what it seems like to me give me the ace of cups six of swords you moving on to new love you're transitioning you're, you're going to take this ace of cups but then I see that you're dis you're, you're disinterested you're discontent give me the hang man okay so three cups Three of Cups and fake shit here. Okay, so this is like someone literally coming towards you to gossip about some shit. It's like, man, don't come to me about no gossiping shit. Don't come to me about no bitchy shit. Like, whatever. Like, 
you could be very much discontent with like friend groups or things of that sort because like you know motherfuckers are fake you know motherfuckers are phony here yeah queen of swords your guard is up because you possibly tell the truth it's like you don't want to be around no fake shit like if it's fake get it the fuck away from me three of cups the hangman in reverse yeah because they, they intimidated by you so there could be like a group of people that's intimidated by you because you're divinely protected you speak the truth here with the queen of swords you're very intelligent okay and you don't give a fuck about hurting people's feelings that's what it seemed like okay they need to hear it they need to hear it these are the type of people that go and overindulge in the shit like they take advantage of others here and it's like you're not the one to be fucked with here you're coming up as the queen of swords as well okay you're you're not the one to be fucked with and it's like people are realizing that so it's like you could be discontent like you just want to be alone like i don't want to be like around around you like i mean y'all fake or whatever this is three of cups intimidated by your beauty and divinity here for aries it's giving i'd rather go and be by myself the hermit mode i walk alone in this bitch yeah through i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil see like i, I don't fear shit that's what that's what i'm seeing aries like you're like man i don't fear shit i don't fear none of y'all fuck all y'all i'm a one woman show or a one man show i ride solo the hermit solo i don't need a group i don't need a clique of motherfuckers with me i can handle that on my own what you gonna do about it huh hermit some of you may have virgo in your chart leo in your chart sagittarius in your chart cancer in your chart aquarius the temperance oh sagittarius heavy so there's someone that was trying to literally knock you off your game they were trying to cause you some sort of imbalance here okay with the temperance in reverse there's been some sort of spell work to cause like imbalance or to have you to do things in the excess here and it, this could have been this don't even have to be friends this could be like a group of motherfuckers that maybe you don't even know aries here i'm seeing a cancer an aries a libra it could be these three motherfuckers a, a cancer a aries or a libra that was trying to knock you off your shit could have been a sagittarius they've tried to cause you to be reckless to do something stupid here I'm, I'm seeing something with like with the shits people dabbling in the shits okay and it's like this is backfiring on them now they're wrecked now they're going through like that they're imbalanced here they're th doing things in excess give me the um give me these two this is a backfire going right back to someone here and they want to apologize they want to come off all sweet kind and caring here with the page of cuss fuck out of here what is these two yeah the four of cups because someone doesn't want this aquarius they're interested they're bored here so it's like now i want to end a conflict with you aries okay i want to end a conflict with you because i had you as an option somebody sold someone a dream here and now i want to come towards you what's up let's end this conflict let's let bygones be bygones <sighs> that's what it seemed like that's what it is not that's what it seemed like that's what it is <laughs> So somebody was hoping to build something here with the Aquarius, but come to find out they was playing mind games with them, Five of Swords. So it's like now they want to come in and make a choice to come and reconcile with you because it's like now you're their wish fulfillment here. But this is someone that possibly have gave you some type of unrequited love that made you believe in a, a lie, an illusion here. This could have been also someone that was very moody here that was given to you and given to somebody else too here. But this has been illuminated to you that this person has a child, they have a son, okay, a pregnancy here that was illuminated to you aries or somebody was pregnant i see there could be communication coming in somebody's going to take action to come and tell you some type of truth here mm -hmm. somebody wants to end this this petty ass beef that you guys have the five of wands they want to end it because they're no longer interested in this Aquarius or this Aquarius is no longer interested in them. But this person still has a lot of options or other options. Give me the seven of cups. Still confused, not knowing what to choose. Something could be significant with five, five. Yeah, the high priestess in reverse. So this could have been somebody that doesn't use their intuition. Okay. Um, this could be someone that's very sexual. This could be even a, a dark high priestess that could be doing some type of spell work to cause some sort of confusion amongst you and someone else.
High Priestess in reverse. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Yep. This also is someone that doesn't use their intuition with they go with who they go and connect with. So it's like they're very sensual and sexual type of energy here. They don't know how to keep keep it in their pants. So it's like they always trying to find something new or to find someone new here. And it's like they don't go within to use that intuition at all. They they just go and look for the next best thing here. Ace of, Ace of Wands, the High Priestess, and they get themselves in some shit. The Ace of Wands, High Priestess in reverse. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles for money and for finances. Or someone could be like using their wand to... Gain some type of prosperity. Okay. Somebody doesn't have any common sense. That's what it seems like. They don't have any common sense. <laughs> at all. It don't seem like it. Because they get themselves stuck in, in situations here. Eight of Swords. They get themselves stuck in situations here, Aries. Yeah. The Lovers. Someone also, this could be a Gemini, Aries, Pisces, Virgo. Give me the lover. Someone had a major choice in love. They know that you were their, their person, okay? You both had the same shared values. It's like somebody knew that you was literally their end-all, be-all, but they, they didn't use their intuition when it came to you. Give me the lovers. Yep, the Ten of Cups. In fact, yeah, this is like a disharmony, an unhappy home. There's no security or no stability or no balance here because someone made a choice. Someone had a choice to make in love. Or this could be the mother of someone's kids. Or this could be a wife that's doing that did some type of spell work. So that this per this person is still passionate for you, Aries. This person still is in love with you. They still want you. They still look at you as the Ace of Wands, like a new passionate beginning here. Yeah, Three of Swords. Someone also has been hurt here during an investment or there's been some sort of heartbreak here regarding an investment. Money, finances or something that someone worked hard for. Three of Swords. This could have been a divorce or someone has to break an investment straight down the middle. Three of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Oh, yep. Four of Pentacles and then, I mean, Four of Wands and then the Moon. So somebody could be sending you dreams or there is something going on amongst the home situation here with the moon and then the four of wands behind the scenes. Or this is someone that reunited. They came, they came back home or they went back to someone. It could have been a, a Cancer or a Pisces. What's this? The moon with the four of wands. Yeah, Ace of Swords just clarified that. That's the truth. Give me, give me this four of wands. The, um... The moon with the ace of swords. Yeah, four of swords. Four of four could be significant. Four one four can be significant as well. <sighs> okay, Aries. So let's see. Let's get a couple more. Yeah, page of cups. Somebody went to apologize. Or this could be someone trying to come towards you, Aries, to come and apologize. But I'm not sure. All right. So let's see. But Aries, I feel like you're coming out as the queen of wands. You're just moving on. You're abandoning situations. You're moving straight the fuck along. You're not, you're not, you know, I mean, I just feel like you just don't care. You're detaching yourself from a situation. You're not stuck. You're not in the hangman position. I feel like you have gained enlightenment about a certain situation and you know what to do. You are taking action. All right. And looking vibrant as fuck while doing so, Aries. Let's see. So, let's see what this Three of Swords is. Aries. Yeah, somebody, your ex, they want you back. This is your ex that put you in a third-party situation that broke your heart, that removed themselves out of your life here. Or someone could have um, separated from you that caused you some type of unhappiness or some type of confusion. Or maybe you were confused as to why this person left. Now, all of a sudden, they want to resurface. They want you, uh, they want you back. It is murky retrograde here. What is this Ace of Swords? this truth about here that somebody could be watching you from fake accounts so if you've been feeling like somebody's watching you from fake accounts then or stalking your um yeah this boss daddy whoever this is they're watching you 
Four of Wands, the Moon. Yep, and they're talking shit about you too here as well. <laughs> All right, what is this? What's talking shit? It's like they talking shit, but they want you back. Mm. Talking shit. Yeah, getting some type of photo or proof of, of you for, I don't know why. Possibly because they want to send you an offer or what is what is this? Oh, that's because they lonely. You're not giving them no attention, Aries. So, Ace of Wands, the High Priestess in reverse. Someone's trying to keep you stuck here. So, it's like they cry out and they act out here. Whoever this is that doesn't use their intuition. Because it's like they get themselves in some mess. So, this could be a masculine. It could be a feminine. It don't matter. But this could be someone that intentionally gets themselves in some mess because they misuse their intuition. Like, they're very manipulative as well. Okay? And it's like... After they get themselves in this stuck, then they cry about it. Give me this. They cry about it. Like, yeah, because they can't steal no one's creativity. This is the type of person that will copy you. They'll steal your work, Aries. Like, they're duplicate. This person feeds off of your creativity. They need that ace of wands from you, that, that spark that you have. You guys have new ideas. You you guys are, you're talented. The Ace of Wands is talent. You have potential. So this person needs that. They need to come up off of your ideas. You can help them. But yeah, like I said, you can help them get far with the travel card. This is all about movement. You can help them. Move, this person move forward. I'm getting, you possibly have tried to help them move forward. Because like I said, you're coming out as the Queen of Wands. The person that's very vibrant, loyal, generous to here as well. Somebody took your kindness for weakness. That's what it seemed like. All right. Give me this queen of pentacles. Same shit, different day. Yeah. So this is a person that's just like this here. Queen of pentacles energy. Yeah. They go and get money from this person. Whoever this woman is or this masculine, someone that has like a business or I don't know. They get money from them. Queen of pentacles. And it's like someone wanted you to be imbalanced, but you're not. And they're pretty much a groupie of you, Aries. They want to be all on your dick, all on your team, all on. They want to they want to scissor. All right. Whoever this is, they want to scissor. But this is someone that you shouldn't trust. Mm, confirmation. This is a whole wolf. In sheep's clothing. But I'm getting you're the real wolf. You are the real fucking wolf. And everybody here is, is just sheeples. They don't see beyond the veil. You see that shit, though. You see it. Yep. So it's now someone is having to move because it's like they can't escape these nightmares, these visions that they get in here from trying to send you some type of a text. And it's going right back to them. These attacks is going right back to them. So it's like they're stuck. They're feeling stuck or someone could be going to jail. So somebody is stuck in a mental prison. They're stuck somewhere. So let's get some closing messages for my Aries. Aries. This could be a weekend read or yes, yeah, you surrendering something. You're letting go and you're releasing it. Eight of Cups energy. Moving on. Detaching. Leaving the situation behind. Focusing on you. Healing. Okay. You're leaving something. Surrendering it. Letting it go. Aries. Yep, you're happily single. I'm single and I'm ready. Roll the dice. This person could be wanting you to come in and take a chance with them. But you see how she looking like, what? Take a chance. Like, um, look, I'm just enjoying my goddamn wine. Some of you guys could be drinking wine here. Or you could just be very much guarded. You're healing your heart space. I've been drinking red wine, Aries. So, yeah, we on the same boat. We healing, baby. We are healing and we're moving forward. We're, we're, we're mending those wounds. We're mending. We're forgiving people from the past that did fuck shit. Okay. And that's cool. That's good. And I, it looks good. 
But this person could be going through some sort of anxiety and depression or somebody's having some sort of panic attacks or they're feeling restless here without you because they want you back. You are a mystery to this person. There are things that this person doesn't know about you. Keep it that way. Aries. Oh, somebody is trying to bind you to them. Like, literally keep you stuck to them. Like, don't leave. Whoever this person is that has been wearing a mask, they had a hidden motive. This wasn't even a real person that you were getting. They were in disguise. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody that was in disguise because it's like they had multiple choices to choose from. They didn't know what door to, to go down. It looked like they didn't go down the door of value, though, because the door of value was with you. The door to abundance was with you. They went to the door of lack, misery, nightmares, and decisiveness. Give me talking shit. I be wanting to know what people be saying. Yeah, this secret crush, this person that's watching you, but that really, really admires you, <laughs> that's really attracted to you, you give this person butterflies. But they're talking shit about you because they're really in love with you. They're lonely. They don't know how to express themselves. So they got to say mean things here. You guys could be seeing synchronicities here. 222 two, two could be significant. Okay. There's always a hidden meaning behind those synchronicities too here as well. Aries. So I'm going to leave it there. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, Aries. Y'all need to be fucking with me and, and, and watching my channel. I get all the love from Libras. Don't let Libras outdo y'all. Libras going to show y'all ass up. But anyway, this message may resonate with someone. If it does, comment down below. Love you. Bye.